I gotta show you this. Because I know what this is. I haven't opened it yet, but I know what it is because I bought it. And I, I blocked out who this who this was, who sent this, but I just wanted to show you here. It's media mail. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we are in the Commonwealth cabin. So it's a Sunday night. It's probably you're watching this on a Monday, maybe a Tuesday if you're a little late. But I hope you guys had some great sales over the weekend and are packaging them up. Maybe as you watch this, I don't know. But I like to do my packaging on Sunday because I got to go to work on Mondays. But this Monday, I don't have to go to work. So we have 31 orders going out, but I'm only going to do half of them today. I'm going to do the other half tomorrow morning, split it up a little bit because my wife drug me out on the lake. So my wife loves water. Blue Ridge Mama loves the beach. She loves the lake. We live near Smith Mountain Lake, Virginia. And she's like, all right, we were going to that lake. And I said, all right, we'll go. I love the shade underneath the tree in my backyard. And I love the Commonwealth cabin. But every once in a while, you got to make the boss happy. So anyway, let's take a look at what's sold. All right, sold a PS4 Lego Jurassic World. Uh, Jurassic Park and Jurassic World stuff was extremely hot last year at this time. Uh, this year it's cooled down a little bit, but you know, it's a video game, right? So it's going to make some money. And you have Duel here, Lego and Jurassic World. This came from our $100 buy, pure profit at this point, $13 free shipping. You know, some people go media mail on these, which is not the right way to do it. And I actually had something that I bought that came to me media mail that I could not believe came to me media mail. And I'm going to show it to you in just a second. But this one went out for $12.95 free shipping and it will go out first class. And this one, the PS4s usually go out in the padded envelope, I think under four ounces. There are some that go over and some that go under, but anyway, it's a nice little sale. All right, had a nice little Bible locked go out right here. And this one came from that garage, the most popular video we've had on Commonwealth Picker. Uh, garage sales, bundle it all and get a good price. And this is where we bought some great stuff from this unbelievable gentleman down in Roanoke. We had a great time. And I bought a railroad bag full of stuff and sold it off and made a bunch of money. And this is a set of Bibles that were in there and these sold for $20 plus shipping. That reminds me of the video we did last week about selling Bibles. The overwhelming majority, by the way, says it's all right to sell them. And most of the people who say it's not all right for them to sell them say it's okay for me to sell them, <laughs> which I think is awesome. So I did ask that question a little bit tongue in cheek. I do know there are some folks out there who don't, but I don't mind selling it at all. Matter of fact, the very first, you know, Gutenberg, there's my history teacher coming out in me, Gutenberg created the printing press. Well, he created an incarnation of the printing press and he gets credit for it and if you come across one of those at a garage sale definitely call me because we're stumbling upon almost priceless works right there i mean the first bible i mean the first book really ever printed on a modern printing press that'd be pretty cool to have i'll give you like you know a 100 bucks for it if you want to sell it to me <laughs> one I, I i haven't checked on this in a while but if you have those they usually split them up that you're not going to find many of them obviously but they sell pages Pages, just single pages of that Bible for unbelievable amounts of money. All right, here's a bolo of sorts. Not this actual little guy, but what it represents. So I saw this in a tub full of toys. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to grab that thing because I knew what it went to. It's a little, it's a Fisher Price little people table, but it goes to a specific set. This goes to the 1974 version of the, uh, I don't know what it's called exactly, but it's like a castle. And it's got knights, and it's got a king, and it's got a dragon, and it's got a carriage. And this table, and it's got chairs that go around it, and lots of little accessories to the actual castle itself. And if you ever come across those things, I think the, maybe it's purple or green, I can't remember what the dragon is. I've sold it twice, but I can't remember. And the king, and the, just to give you an example, just the king and queen usually will bring $25, just for the two little characters. So you could sell, you know, if you had all the little accessories, you could get in the hundreds of dollars for it. And if you had the accessories and the castle, we're talking big money for sure. So if you have a minute, go ahead and go over to eBay and look up uh, Knight's Castle, Vintage Little People. I think it's 1974. I probably should have checked before I did this. But anyway, I think I would go over there and check that out. And you could see it once it's in your eyeballs, 
once it gets into your brain, you tend to find that stuff out there. So I stumbled across these one time and sold them and I'm like, holy cow, they're worth so much money. And so I've always recognized that little table ever since. All right, I have people always sending me messages and like, I found Tupperware or I found this or I found this that you sell. And which is great. There are, there's some Tupperware worth selling. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I'm not telling you to sell some of the things that I sell. Matter of fact, I'm kind of making fun of myself sometimes and telling you not to sell some of the things I sell because they're not really worth it. Like Othello pieces. So these sold for $4 plus shipping. And I think I put them, I can't remember how many I put in a lot. All right, I just looked. So 12, I put 12 in a lot. So I think there's five sets in one game. I think there's, uh, I think there's 60 pieces. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's right. So I put 12 in a set and sell them for $4 plus shipping. I don't know, it looks like there's one available left. So I've sold four of them at $4 a piece. And they take forever to sell, but it's just something I do. I guess I'll make some decent money on one listing when it's all said and done and they take up no space. And I get to put a little cool Commonwealth picker sticker on it. All right, a couple of Jerry Garcia ties. There you go, that looks like maybe early 90s. I'm not sure when they came out, but it was kind of a bad buy, but it came from the sale that I uh, jokingly called the Baldwin ladies sale, where those, I think, sisters were, <laughs> and they were selling things to me, and I got some good stuff, and I've made some pretty good money on it, and I'm hoping to make a lot of money on one of the particular perfumes that were in that lot, but I bought those ties because they were just, I don't know, I just got in a buying mood, and I'm like, yeah, I'll buy it, I'll buy it, everything was cheap, I knew I had already made money from a few items, and they just kept pushing it, and I was having a good time, so I ended up buying these ties, I think I paid one dollar for one, and two dollars for the other, so three dollars into it, and they sold for eight fifty plus shipping, which isn't exactly a great buy, but I'll still make some money on it, and I made them happy. All right, I'm going to grab you because there's a couple things back here I have not picked up yet. And there's a viewer gift that I want to show you. And there's something that came in the mail that got sent to me media mail. <laughs> that is definitely not media. I don't want you to check it out with me. All right, the first one came from a lot of things that I bought the other day. The one, I think it was a sale that I bought Stripe at right there. And that I think sold today. That'll be on tomorrow's video. And... I got a bunch of SNES games and I put the little accessories in here sometimes in the garage flips drawer. And this Game Shark, I think, sold for $15 free shipping, which covers the cost. I think I paid $5 for all the games. And I think only one is worth selling on eBay. The rest of the games are going in my antique booth. I call it an antique booth, but it clearly isn't. And this one sold for 15 so let's just say $3 in fees, $3 to ship it. We're making $9 on it. We're actually making a little bit more than that, but we're making $9 on it. We paid 5 for the whole lot, so we're already $4 in the profit and then have like 6 or 7 games left. All right, I have a Callaway iron, and I put the irons up here. It's the Connecticut skew. This is the 6 iron. I think it's the last left-handed Callaway that I have. And it sold for $12 plus shipping. It's not a great one, but when you decide to part these things out, you are going to have some that struggle to sell unless you put a good price on them and wait for the right buyer. You basically, I mean, how many people need a left-handed Callaway Big Bertha 6-iron with this kind of shaft and this type of grip? Not too many, so you have to be the lowest price or you're not going to sell it for a while. So sold some uh, other ones, the pitching wedges and stuff for a lot more money than this. So this is just getting out the door and it's pretty cheap. You'd be surprised how cheap it is to ship one golf club. These are really not that bad. Put them in a tube, maybe a little extra tube for some of the longer irons, put a little Frankenbox tube on there, but $12 plus shipping is worth the time for me to part out some of these sets. All right, I'm going to show you just a couple of gifts really quick. Take a look at these. All right, the first one right here I think is a really cool, it's it's obviously got my name on it, and it is the Golden State. And this came, for, and I can't, and you have to forgive me here. You're going to have to tell me in the comments what the name is. I can't, I'm, I have terrible writing, so I'm not being critical whatsoever. But I could not make out that name. Somebody tell me, tell me in the comments, what's the name? He says, love your show. Was thinking of you when I found this. It's the classic version of the Cali plate. Keep up the great work. And I can't make out your name. So at any rate, that is an awesome gift. Check this out. So we're going to put these over here. Each little 
area of the kids store here i call this the kids store because most of the stuff that i list in the homeschool hustle store homeschool hustler store i put over here and i'll probably put that right there and we'll go with that one right there oh and somebody asked me and i gotta remember which plate it was somebody asked me to find them one plate i think it was an arkansas plate there i found it for you it is right here arkansas plate so we found it <laughs> sorry it took me so long to show it to you all right this is another gift stray cats alley meow seventeen eighteen. it says thank you for shopping with us and i'll put that card up in the back with the rest of the cards by the way and so it left me some great messages here thank you kevin blue ridge mom of the homeschool hustlers god bless there's their ebay store they say this was in an antique store when it came to our family or this was an antique when it came to our family 20 years ago we thought it would fit in perfect at your homestead best wishes kenny and brenda all right let's take a look let's see what it says take me to your lido at youtube thank you for all you do kenny and brenda stray cats alley check this out ah movie magic again check that out that looks really cool and it definitely shows its age too look at that i love it absolutely love it i want to put it on this wall here but you know i take pictures there where should i put this thing where should we put it it's too big to go here i don't know maybe we could put it above the tv can't really see it up there though maybe above that light huh what do you think i don't know we don't put much over here maybe i could put it above that wall i don't know y'all that is awesome and i appreciate it so much very very kind of you to think of us i appreciate it all right last but not least i gotta show you this because i know what this is i haven't opened it yet but i know what it is because i bought it and i i blocked out who this who this was who sent this but i just wanted to show you here it's media mail retail price media mail which is actually the same <laughs> as uh going through ebay but Media mail retail price. Here it is. It is a frame for a record. LP album frame. So there you go. I, I decided I want to keep that one. I like it so much. So there you go. I love Roger Miller. I decided to keep that one. I have Glenn Miller's over there. The B-52s, I'm going to put that over there as well. Not that I love the B-52s. <laughs> it reminds me of my childhood, and the colors are great. So we're going to keep it over here. So media mail, y'all. That's what you're competing against when people ship stuff like this. Media mail. Wonderful. All right, let's go into the eBay cave and see what's sold in there. Hey, I thought we sold out of these, but I had the wrong quantity listed. So when somebody bought like 10 of them, or whatever they bought. I thought they were all gone, but <laughs> I had the wrong quantity listed. I don't know how I did that. So I went back in and put them in again. $12.99. Free shipping, go out media mail. Uh, I think these are right at a pound. So $2.80. Minus fees, paid virtually nothing. A dime maybe for them. So we're making a decent little profit. Times like 30. I don't remember how many we bought. We bought a bunch though. That sale is, maybe I'll link it if I can remember, I, I forget lately, but uh, something about eBay and Amazon on the Commonwealth Picker channel, and uh, it was a cool little sale. We made a lot of money. Not a huge a bunch of high-priced items, but a ton of low-priced items, and a lot of them are multi-quantity like that, so I love that. A couple of time-wise from Mary Kay, $12.99 and $12.95, and one is Ivory 7, and one is Bronze 1. Here is a Panasonic, and I just part these out sometimes. The Panasonic ones are pretty good to part out. And it's got the charger, the little base, and the phone. And these go out, I think, unfortunately, they're over 8 ounces, just barely. But I have the perfect little box for them, and we ship them out. And uh, $20 free shipping. Shipping might cost, you know, 4 or $5.00 plus fees so we'll call it like 750 and you know you pay a little bit for it and you part it out so about eight it's about a 12 dollar profit every time you sell off one of these and there's four of them so you know you're making almost 50 bucks selling all the parts and pieces it's a little bit of a pain and i don't like to do it and i've kind of shied away from doing it lately because you have to test them all and clean them all but if you're out there and you're having trouble sourcing things Look up the phones. Some of the VTech ones are no good, but look these phones up, and there are certain ones you can part out fairly easily. 
but don't go overboard with it or you're going to have a pile of work and that death pile is going to grow and grow because these aren't things that most people love to get out there. I see froggy flips over there. You sell a bunch of these, but man, they drive me nuts. Do they drive you nuts over there? Be honest. Here is a little naked angel, a little cherub, a Fontanini angel. And this one sold for $10 plus shipping. If you were around last uh, Christmas or right before leading up to the holidays, we had a consignment of Fontanini stuff and sold tons and tons. I don't like to do consignment, but if you're getting all these items for free right before Christmas, you know you can clear almost all of them out and get half of the money for it and you're, you have no cash outlaid. I knew it was going to be a bunch of money. I don't remember how many hundreds of dollars we made, but we made them really darn quick because they sold pretty darn quick, so we were pretty happy. This is a leftover from that. But this little guy was a leftover from that? Little guy? I don't know. What do you think? Michael? Gabriel? Little guy? I'm going to call him a little guy. What do you think? Yep. $10 plus shipping, and he was a leftover, and he's gone now. So I love those. I love selling Fontanini. Whenever I find them fairly cheap, I'll pick them up. They'll sell. Another piece of Under Armour going out the door today. $10 plus shipping for this one. Orange, loose, medium. Hey, two of these going out to Anita today. Anita bought two of them. We appreciate it. And then one's going out to Joanne who left a message and I have it on my phone. So let me read it to you. Hi there. Enjoy your YouTube channel immensely. I certainly thank you for your enlightening videos and your YouTube history lessons. I am a fan. Used to sell jewelry on eBay back in about 2012. I've been working at selling again on eBay as a reseller since being forced into retirement last year. You have been a great help in the decision making. So, hey, and you left a little bit more of a message there too, and you've been recovering from surgery during COVID, kind of not been able to get out and about, and you uh, appreciate the videos for that. So we appreciate you watching very, very much, and we wish you well, and we hope you're back at it soon. So thank you so much, Joanne. We appreciate it. All right, we're going to check out some sales from the homeschool hustlers out there in the Commonwealth cabin, but I'm going to say goodbye from in here, and as always, we will see you next time. All right, I got both of the homeschool hustlers here, and y'all got some sun. Reagan, you got more sun than Turner. Yeah. You put your own sunscreen on, right? Yeah. I got a lot of sun, too. Yeah. I'm burnt. Yeah. Right, Turner, you're not quite as burnt. Mama mama put yours on, huh? Blue Ridge Mama put that sunscreen on good for you. A little bit red, huh? All right, we got two sales out of your store. Actually, we have three, but we're putting one on tomorrow. So take me out to the ball game. How many strikes before you're out in the old ball game? Three. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and we sold that one. Hey, that one came in a huge lot. I think I paid ten dollars for a huge lot. Been selling. Uh, I sold a couple on eBay. Most of them went to the booths, and we've already made some money. So this is pure profit. I think it was twelve, twelve bucks medium mail ship. I think, and Reagan, that came from Mumsy. Y'all want to give Mumsy a shout out? Thank you, Mumsy. And that is $8 plus shipping, I think. Also, media mail. So thank y'all. You're welcome. Hey, you're going to get a dollar to... Save, donate, and spend. <laughs> you got it. Except you set it out of order. It's yes. save, spend, save, and donate. donate. <laughs> hey, Reagan pointed out something to me. Point that out to me again. She says it still has the price. She asked me if I wanted to take it off. And so my rule of thumb is if it's a vintage item, I leave the price on it. If it's a new item, like a, and I don't mean new old stock, I mean an item that's not vintage, just not 20 years old, then I tend to take it off. So that's my rule of thumb. Basically, if it's something you can get in the store now, you, can go, you can't go to the store and buy this now. No. So we leave the sticker on. People like to collect it. All right, Reagan wanted to say thank you because Teresa bought a mug. You want to show them the back? Somebody asked about that. Other things may change, but we start and end with family. Yep. And I think, who's the other person? Was it Chris. Christy? Christy, Christy yeah. bought a sticker. All right, you want to say thank you? Thank you. Bye. Don't forget to get your sticker at commonwealthpicker.com. <laughs> you two are priceless. You know that? You know how much you're worth? To Commonwealth Picker? Um, a million dollars? No, you're priceless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you do. Bye. Bye. Bye.